Hi friends! Today we're going to learn about some dinosaurs. Yes, are you ready? The first dinosaur we're going to learn about is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yes, it's a long name. It's the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's also called the T-Rex. The T-Rex is one of the largest and most powerful dinosaur. It was one of the biggest dinosaurs. It had a very big skull and sharp, sharp teeth with strong jaws. And the T-Rex's arms were short. They were short and they walked on two legs. Yes, the T-Rex walks on two legs and it was one of the biggest dinosaurs we had. Yes, the T-Rex has tiny arms but it could run very, very fast on its very strong legs. The T-Rex is it's like the king of the dinosaurs. One fun fact about the T-Rex is that it lived about 66 million years ago. That's a long, long, long time. And it could grow as long as a school bus. Yes, the T-Rex was very, very big. And did I tell you what the T-Rex eats? The T-Rex is a carnivore. And that means that they eat meat. The T-Rex eat other animals. They also eat other dinosaurs. Yeah, they also eat smaller dinosaurs. The T-Rex was a carnivore. And that means they eat meat. The Triceratops. Next is the Triceratops. The Triceratops was a large herbivore dinosaur. This dinosaur has three horns on its head. It has two above its eyes and one right above its nose and a large crown at the back of its head. The Triceratops used its three horns to help him against predators. Also, the Triceratops was a herbivore. That means that the Triceratops likes to eat plants. They love eating plants. The Triceratops was a very big dinosaur as well. It has some frilly things at the back of its head. It's called a collar around its neck and it was as big as a car. So can you imagine how big a Triceratops was? So this one is a Triceratops. Do you see its three horns? Two at the top and one right above its nose. The Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus is famous for its cool spiky plates that run down its back. The Stegosaurus also has some big spikes on the back of its tail that looks like a club. This dinosaur uses his spikes on his tail to scare away the enemies and also to protect itself. So those big spikes that are on his tail, the Stegosaurus uses them to protect him from predators, from other dinosaurs or other big animals that tries to eat him or even tries to have a fight with him. The Stegosaurus has a small brain, although he is so big, the Stegosaurus has a very small brain compared to his big old body, but he was still very good at defending himself. The Stegosaurus was also a herbivore. That means that he likes to eat plants. Yes, the Stegosaurus was a herbivore and a herbivore means that that dinosaur eats plants. And the Stegosaurus was the Stegosaurus was around in the late Jurassic period. That was around 155 to 150 million years ago. That's a very long, long time. So the Stegosaurus was around way before the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yes, and the Tyrannosaurus Rex is also called the T-Rex. The T-Rex is also a very 
big, big dinosaur. But the T-Rex was a carnivore. The T-Rex likes to eat meat, lots of big meats, because the T-Rex was a very big, big dinosaur. Next is the Ankylosaurus. The Ankylosaurus was like a walking tank. It was covered in a bony armor. It looks like a shell and it had a big club on the end of its tail. He uses its tail to help him to protect itself from danger and other predators. The Ankylosaurus was a herbivore. Do you remember what a herbivore is? Do you remember what a herbivore eats? A herbivore is an animal that eats plants. So the Ankylosaurus, this dinosaur, likes to eat plants. And its body was covered with bony like plates and it was very large. The Ankylosaurus existed around 68 to 66 million years ago. So that means the Ankylosaurus was here a long, long, long time ago. And one fun thing about the, one fun fact actually, is that the Ankylosaurus can hit as hard as a baseball bat with its tail. Yes, that's how powerful its tail is. He uses its tail to protect him from predators and from other harmful animals that wants to harm him. Next is the Apatosaurus. The Apatosaurus, this dinosaur is a very big dinosaur. It's like a big giant and it has long neck. It had a long neck and a bulky body and a tail that could swish around. It uses its long necks to reach up high in trees to munch on leaves and branches too. This dinosaur eats leaves, so that means it's a herbivore. Yes, this dinosaur eats plants and it was enormous. A fun fact about this dinosaur is that its tail was so long and he uses his tail to whip around to scare away other dinosaurs. Yes, to scare away other dinosaurs and other predators from bothering him. The Apatosaurus was so big that this dinosaur could this dinosaur could grow to be as long as two school buses, two long school buses. That's how big and enormous this dinosaur was. And it lived around 150 years ago, 150 million years ago. That means it was here a long, long, long time ago, even before we were existed, even before you were born. That's how long ago this dinosaur was in existence. Next is the Spinosaurus. This dinosaur was a large semi-aquatic dinosaur. It was a predator. This dinosaur eats fish and it's mostly, it spend a lot of its time in the water. This dinosaur has a sail-like structure at the top of its back. Kind of look like a sail that's on a boat. It is formed by elongated neural spines and it is a very big dinosaur as well as a large dinosaur. And this dinosaur likes to hunt. It likes to hunt in the water, hunt for its food in the water. The Spinosaurus was a great swimmer and it likes to spend a lot of its time in the water catching fish. One fun fact about the Spinosaurus is that it might have been one of the biggest meat eaters ever. It also loves fish a lot. It has very strong paddle-like feet to help it swim as well. The Spinosaurus is said to be so big that it is po even possible that it could grow even bigger than a T-Rex. The Spinosaurus lived about 112 
to 93 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. That's when dinosaurs were ruling the land and the seas. The Spinosaurus is one of the most awesome water-loving dinosaur and it is very unique. It has a unique sail on its back and a powerful jaw, set of powerful jaws, making it one of the most fascinating creatures of all time. Next dinosaur is the Velociraptor dinosaur. This dinosaur was a small dinosaur but very fast that looked a bit like a chicken with a sharp claw. This dinosaur could run really quickly and had a special claw on each foot that helped it to catch its prey. One fun fact about the, this dinosaur is that it is about the size of a big turkey and it might have even had feathers like birds. The Velociraptor, this dinosaur, was an excellent hunter and he was very clever. The, this dinosaur arms were so long and strong and it had even curved claws as well. This dinosaur was the size of about 6 to 8 feet long which is about the size of a small car and it stand about 2 feet tall making it a very fast and nimble predator. So, the Velociraptor dinosaur was a very smart, fast, and it has feathered dinosaur that use its sharp claws to hunt small animals and avoid bigger predators. Yeah, he didn't bother bigger predators. This dinosaur was on a smaller side, so he was much smaller than the other dinosaur. So he hunts for smaller animals to eat. The Iguanodon. This dinosaur was a plant-eating dinosaur. That means it was a herbivore. This dinosaur walked on two legs, but it could also walk on all four legs. Its body was large and it had a long, heavy tail that helped it to balance while it walked. One fun fact about the Iguanodon is was that it was the first dinosaur to ever, it was one of the first dinosaurs to be discovered and named. The Iguanodon liked to eat leaves and plants. This dinosaur can grow up to, it could grow up to 10 feet tall. And it was about 30 to 33 feet long. This dinosaur loves to eat plants and leaves and trees. So that means it was a herbivore. The Brachiosaurus. This dinosaur was known for its long neck and its very large size. It was a massive herbivore. That mean it eats, do you remember, a herbivore eats plants. Unlike some of the other dinosaurs, the Brachiosaurus dinosaur, his front legs were longer than his back legs, giving it an upright stance so he could stand straight. This dinosaur existed around the late Jurassic period and that was about 154 million years ago. That was about 154 to 150 million years ago. It was a super tall dinosaur with a very long neck, kind of like a giraffe. One fun fact about this dinosaur is that it could eat trees that were as tall as a four-story building that is super, super high. So can you imagine how big that dinosaur was and how long its neck must have been? That's the, that's the Brachiosaurus. Pteranodon. This wasn't really a dinosaur, but it was a flying reptile with enormous wings. That means it has 
very, very big wings and it flies through the sky. And guess what? It uses its long wings to glide over the water and catches fish. One fun fact about the Pteranodon is that he had wings that were longer than a car and making it an awesome flyer. It could fly very well. While the Pteranodon is not quite a dinosaur, it is all it is often it's associated with dinosaurs. It wasn't really a dinosaur, but it lived alongside with the dinosaurs. And it lived around the 70 to 100 million years ago during the late Cretaceous time. And it lived alongside the dinosaur. It fly through the skies while the dinosaur roamed and walked the land. That's the Pteranodon. It was like a giant flying fish hunter. It loves to hunt for fishes and it loves to eat fishes. It was like a, the master of the skies during the age of the dinosaurs when dinosaurs were was walking the land. The Pteranodon was flying around. Yes, so the Pteranodon is not really a dinosaur, but it lived alongside the dinosaur during that period. So friends, we had so much fun learning about different types of dinosaurs. We learned about the T-Rex, we learned about the Iguanodon, we learned about the Triceratops. We even learned that the Pteranodon is a flying reptile and he's not really a dinosaur, but he lived alongside the dinosaurs during the age of the dinosaurs. So that was very interesting. Until next time.